brownfield. Uh, uh, Would I want to buy a brownfield? In reference to what? The answer is almost always no. I don't even care what it is. A brownfield is typically a site that has some environmental issues. Environmental issues meaning some contamination. And the contamination is the thing that is uh, preventing it from being developed to a higher and better use. In British Columbia, the broader picture is if you've had something to do with a piece of contaminated property, and particularly if you're a polluter, then you may have some liability. In managing brownfield liability, the first thing to understand is that uh, the ultimate goal is to have uh, closure to the environmental liability attached to a contaminated site. I'm not sure how that's done. I'm not a scientist. First primary step is to take samples, uh, drill holes and put monitoring wells in place, test the groundwater. And that's when insurance brokers come in and, and work with the team to decide if that's going to be a, a good mechanism to control the risk here. Once we have an idea from an expert, then we can start to get a sense of whether there are resources that we have to apply. In the province of British Columbia, the province is the regulator, and as such, once they certify a site to be fully remediated, then the environmental risk has been removed. Which helps financial lenders or other investors. Uh, local governments will receive comfort when they see that the provincial government has provided a certificate confirming a successful cleanup. It might be that it's not economic to develop that land because the cost of contamination or the cost of remediation of the contamination is far exceeds the value of the land itself. If we own a site and we want to sell that site, we are at risk of not being able to manage that environmental liability any longer. Once you put the management of that risk into somebody else's hands, that risk could grow exponentially. And the opportunity is in managing the risk, understanding the liability, and then creating an opportunity out of something where there was perhaps just a problem. We should redevelop these sites primarily because they are located at key locations within the communities. There's increased density in our cities, which means less reliance on the automobile for transportation, more mass transit, more rapid transit. In other communities around BC where you don't have that opportunity for density, it can be a community gathering spot. You've got to do at least a modicum of due diligence. You've got to figure out what the historic uses of a property uh, were. And the historic uses tell you the story. And if the historic uses of a property were anything that suggests a risk, then you've just got to know it. Oh, okay. It's a win situation for those of us who want to utilize the space.